Well, hello. Welcome to Double Talk. I'm Mark Steffen. I am Michael Mandel. And this is just like real TV, isn't it? Pretty much. It is. It's a close back similar. to the era. So, uh, I believe we're supposed to be talking about a... Uh, what are we going to talk about? Z Zarelta? Well, you know, there's a problem, apparently, with uh, this uh, blood-thinning drug called Zarelta, with an X. X, X. You take that, don't you? I, I should, but uh, no, I, I don't. Well, it's a blood thinner. There's a lot of people do take blood thinners because if you've had uh, a stroke or something, you give it to you. Yeah. You have a surgery sometimes. Yes. Uh, warfarin is another drug. drug. But some, anyway, warfarin apparently works okay, but they've come come up with a new one called Zarelto. Toe. And uh, it's been causing problems with people. People have died because you know when you start when you lose the ability to clot, it doesn't just mean cuts are, are going to stop clotting. It means stuff inside it is going to stop clotting. It's like if you take aspirin, aspirin could cut the inside of your stomach, but Xarelto makes your blood so thin. It's like you have that disease where you don't... Hemophilia. Hemophilia. Uh, so, well, people have been... We're not scientists. We're not telling you about it to, to tell you what your condition is. Uh, if you've been taking Xarelto, or if you know anybody who's been taking Xarelto, uh, have them, call that number. Their doctor isn't going to get in trouble. The the company that produces Zarelto, we're not sure what company, obviously T, uh, not I think that's, that's what No, people, that's not that. Yes, that's the people who can help you solve it. So it's not the doctors. Uh, uh, we're getting word. What am I hearing? Johnson, Johnson and Johnson. Johnson. But that might be false too. Uh, make it, and uh, they have not figured out how to stop it from uh, causing trouble. So if you've had trouble with it, if you've had internal bleeding, or if anything has gone wrong with uh, your life, uh, call both your doctor and uh, this, this number, number down here. Get in here. On, the, on the class action lawsuit against the Zarelto people. Yes, we're going to take a look at it. You go ahead, say there's, it. There's a spot. Let's roll in that spot that uh, tells you all about it. And if you don't believe us, Attention listen. Attention users of the blood thinning drug Zarelto. If you were a loved one who's been hospitalized or died from serious internal bleeding after taking Zarelto, you may be entitled to significant compensation. Call the Sentinel Group now. Potential claims are being reviewed for users of Xarelto who have suffered severe bleeding or hemorrhaging, stroke, or even death. Our network of experienced attorneys are ready to help fight for you. You won't pay a thing until your case is settled. Call the Sentinel Group now. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. But if you still have your blood and it's in your heart, this is the perfect day for you, isn't it? It's, Today's it's Valentine's, Valentine's day. day. So happy Valentine's Day, Barbara. And, See, that's, uh, and now I have to, don't you buy a thing. Really? Just because I just said that. Well, that's good, yeah. Alice. <laughs> oh, yes, there you go. We got this card just for both of you. Right. We're off the hook now, right? I know. And it mailed it just in time, too. Well, you know, a lot of guys um, think, and sometimes I Is this sexist too, when you say guys? That it's sexist. Why are you saying guys? That Valentine's Day is sexist. Because... Let's make this argument. Because it's all for the women. The guys don't get anything out of it. Uh, the guys have to take them out for dinner. The guys have to buy them the flowers and the candy, and they have to arrange all the romance. While the women uh, criticize it and wonder, is that all there is? Well, that's because men don't care about ro romance. I like chocolate, so. Do you? Yeah, don't you like chocolate? I, I like the last one you gave me. <laughs> Shh. It's not that Valentine's. Well, it's Valentine's Day for everybody. If you're you know, gay or sexual, homosexual couple, it's still Valentine's Day. There you lose that sexism bit. Well, because okay. it's a male giving to a male or a female giving to a female or now transsexual to or anything. And and roses are important, the symbol of love. Yes. So love it happens. Love is in the all, air. All the way. So now if you're a heterosexual, it does seem to be men catering to women. But and we do that anyway. We are so solicitous of our females. What happens if you don't do it? Oh, well, what does happen if you, if don't, you don't do, do it? it? You'll find out the hard way. Or she won't find out the hard way. They get mad. They do get they? angry. That's the one from... Uh, they get resentful. That's, uh, she's from uh, Desperate Housewives. Yes. And this is just a stock footage thing where oh, the woman oh, is berating you. What did you get me? I don't remember you getting me anything. What have you done for me lately? <laughs> ah... Yeah, it's the attack of the 50-foot woman. Good graphic. <laughs> yes, well, if you're married to a 50-foot woman, you got your flower He's problem cut out for you. Buy her a tree and paint it red. He's definitely under her thumb. Und yes, he's uh, being attacked. Now, there's a lot of places people are going to go out to dinner tonight around town. And you're going to one place in particular. If you want to see Mark, go to, where did you decide to go to? I'm going to the, oh, uh, the third school. floor bistro at Stan Fulton Center at NMSU. 
Uh, and that's pretty cool. It's a nice place out there. They make everything. They even make their own ketchup. They make everything there. Um, they also, you know what? They're the only ones who use those, what is it, the shrimp that they grow on, cam you know, oh, near yes. the campus. They have that. You would not eat shrimp because, you know. I eat shrimp. You eat shrimp? Of course I do. You find reasons not to eat everything. No. You eat shrimp? You know what I don't eat. And shrimp is one of the things I eat. Yeah, but it has one of those things that you don't eat. What? Uh, you know, an anus. <laughs> Actually, a shrimp is just totally a tube of digestion. It's a crustacean. It's a tube that they digestive. They remove the digestive tract. That's what you don't eat. Oh, yeah. You wish. You can help it. You wish. <laughs> uh, also, there's a number of... I mean, that's not a bad place. They do have actually great soup, even when... And a great view that looks out onto Aggie Memorial Stadium. And at night, that's going to be wonderful because it's all dark. But many of the good restaurants around town are doing specials. See if you can get in without a reservation. It's kind of, kind of late now. In some places, it's not going to work. Two seatings, like at 5:30 and 8:30. Yes. Uh, it's a little late now to start making reservations for a nice place. My plan normally is to go out to eat the night before Thanksgiving. So why I didn't mean, it work? I mean, this Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Because the restaurant. Thanksgiving is a good idea too to go out the day that's before. That's true. And Mother's Day because yes. the restaurants are fully stocked the day before and there's no huge crowds. You can get in and get out. It's a wonderful thing. And they haven't raised their prices like they do on Valentine's Day. Oh, they get big stock prices. But that's because it's so crowded and because all the people who are working for them they get away should with get it. paid more because, which they probably don't. Because it's more crowded, more work. Yeah, it's a lot of work. But they get better tips, one would think. One would hope. Unless you feel jip that you paid like, I don't know, 30, 50 bucks. Some places uh, around so there, number places. a person. So, so what do you have? De La Vegas is doing stuff. Um, Double Eagle. Double Eagle. The St. Clair. Savoy. I even saw Napolitos, you know, on Mesquite Street. Mm -hmm. They're doing a $12 steak con queso. That's what you want to get your wife. Oh, hey. Or girlfriend. If that's what they like. Why not? And if it's in your budget. <laughs> Yes, that's true. You know, you may have champagne taste, but on a beer budget. So you got to go beer with, budget. So, yeah. but you can use buy champagne, uh, sparkling wine, for beer for about six dollars yes. a bottle. Actually, do whatever you know. It's always good to have an occasion to celebrate stuff. And love. And Valentine's Day is the best thing. You know, uh, there's so many holidays or so many events that you can feel crummy about. Valentine's Day is a day you can feel good about. So you should get. Uh, as good a champagne as you can, drink it, uh, have Valentine's Day with all your friends, where I'm going to be. Yeah, where are you going? No, you're I, mean, I can't say because, you know, then everybody will come and visit us there. Oh, you just got to go out to, to, yeah, uh, to somebody's friend's house, house for dinner. Yes. Well, that's fine, too. And uh, that's a good place. And you know what we're doing? Oh, you would love this. What's that? We, we will be having the absinthe fountain oh the absinthe fountain. absinthe i've never seen it in full operation but no. i know where you're going and she happens yes. to be a very good cook and and also she's probably responsible for the absinthe uh whole michigas no uh, everything from oh, the, she, oh really yes yes she's the one who got it all and so well, you know what they say be fun. absinthe makes the heart grow fonder Boy, you didn't really want to finish saying that because you know how everybody I'm, says that when, when you talk about absinthe. Okay. Someday we will do an absinthe thing on the show. And we'll, get, we'll show that fountain in action. Yes. It's not a lot of action, which is why we're not showing, <laughs> not showing it. Not. It's a fountain of ice water that slowly drips onto a sugar cube on a spoon that goes into a little glass or goblet of absinthe. And then you drink it. And, and that's about it. That's, that's it's, yeah. Okay. Now, speaking of romance. Oh, so what are we speaking about? Romance? Uh, the school board elections are over. Mm -hmm. And we were off last week, so we didn't talk about this last week. We missed a lot of stuff, but we're going to try to catch up, even but, though we just killed a, the whole first half of the show. But you know, the results are in, and um, it went pretty much the way uh, I would have voted, I think. I believe most of the people who went to the school and worked for the school like the uh, outcome. I didn't know anything about it since they're not in my area. They're not in your district. And neither are your district. That's true. But M Mari Castro did win, and mm -hmm. so did Mr. Frank. <laughs> Whatever. Franks. Franks. And uh, also there was a school bond issue that did pass. That so did more money, well, yes. Fund, uh, We're going to be able to have new college. things. Didn't, didn't raise the taxes at all because one of the bonds had just retired. So Didn't lower the over. taxes either. No, it didn't lower them. They never lower the taxes, Michael. Uh, no, they just keep them level. Not only that, the, uh, uh, I think city council, the city or county is going to vote on raising taxes, uh, sales taxes. The county, yes. Yes, once we find out what's tax. going to happen, grocery receipts tax, we're pretty 
close to paying 8% anyway. Like Texas. It kind of rounds off. Might as well do a round number, actually. Okay, let's take it down to seven. Everything, that's a good round number, yeah, too. I like that. It's not an even number. But everything's like 7.85 or 7.6. Now, do 8%. That way you could see if the company's cheating you. Mm, yeah. In your head. Now, okay. on well, with... Exciting things that are not happening. Well, you know, th we talk a lot about food, food and beverage on this show because it's one of our favorite topics. We don't know anything else. And uh, so, you know, we were saddened to hear the news that uh, this year for the whole enchilada fiesta for the first time in, what, 25 years or so? There will 30, not be 30. the world's largest enchilada. So far, but Robert, there may be, but Roberto won't be the guy doing it. he won't be it. doing it. Uh, last year, we, well, they did a fundraiser to buy... A brand safe, new equipment. brand new equipment. You know, that is like a 25, 30 foot dollars. diameter thing. And it's not even a whole enchilada because somebody looks like they took a bite out of it. But uh, uh, that's a lot of money for one shot. For one shot. Right. So somebody's going to have to take over that gigantic frying pan. Uh, and gas apparatus. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of gas goes through that. Plus, Plus all platter. that food, all the masa. It takes... 10 Native Americans to, to grind that much masa. It does. But, and that guy. That's Tweffy. Tweffy. I, I, you know, twe the word Tweff is ridiculous. <laughs> the yeah. whole enchilada. The whole thing. It, it's the whole thing because it's a whole enchilada. He's, that's a whole chili pepper. That's red right. chili pepper. You didn't like my idea from before. What is it, Michael? What what what, what you said? We could reuse that for another uh, a whole uh, thing. What was the, the giant the, what? The, the whole penis festival. Is that what you said? I think I said that, but you take the nose off, I guess. Probably yeah. keep the mustache on just for thrills. No, I like. I keep the nose. I like the eyes. The eyes are. That's what makes it inviting. I see. Good thing nobody heard us say that, right? Okay. okay. Say what? Say what? <laughs> the whole of what? What are you, a brother? Say what, man? I am a brother. I have a sister. Yes. Oh, okay. Good for you. Uh, where are we? I think we're up to a break by now. It feels like we bought. Do, are we? What's the time? Oh, okay. We got it. We got. We got some time. We don't want to get too involved with all these things. What's What's up there? Well, we're going to talk oh. about the Las Cruces Sun News. You know, recently had a Reader's Choice contest where they put a they put a poll in the newspaper and you would vote on your favorite. It says best, but it's really you're voting on your favorite. Or whoever gets the most the newspapers and gets their friends to write in. Right. So you know, I was wondering, because looking at the, uh, the screen here from where I'm standing yeah. and where our viewers are looking at, looks like you have a weird large keyboard. Doesn't it look like a big keyboard? Yeah. Yeah. So, so we can disagree. We love disagreeing. We can also agree. Um, well, for instance, best dry cleaners, comic cleaners. Well, how many dry cleaners are there in town? There is the other, the Manhattan dry cleaner up by uh, Lowe's uh, Hardware. Oh, Highway Street. 70. Yeah, Highway 70. There's that one, but he hasn't been in business that long. And University Cleaners sends theirs out to somebody, I believe. Probably to Common Cleaners. We lost Alameda Cleaners. Well, that's they what happens. But nobody cares about that. Let's talk about the food places. You were talking about how we should have been uh, voted the best TV show. There was no best TV and show. And the best TV channel. There was no best TV host. We're the best talk show, the best hosts. We're also on the best local only independent uh, channel well they have best funeral home here there's only three funeral homes now uh, th th this channel does more tv shows than there are funeral homes there should have been a category for best f tv show and best why, television why host. are you comparing us to a funeral home why don't you compare us to how many nightclubs are in town best there's like the best nightclub is grams grams how many but you were saying there's there? not that many nightclubs how do you define a nightclub uh hurricane alley could be a nightclub palacio could be a nightclub Azul is a nightclub, and I think the Ramada has a new nightclub called Emerald or oh, yeah? something like that. Well, I guess if you wanted to be called a nightclub, you would have submitted yourself for that uh, fabulous award. Well, the, the so we, we are the official Las Cruces television station, anyway, folks. Official and we independent. Well, remember a few weeks ago we called the Sun News and actually spoke with someone live on the air about why there was no such category. And what well, they, they tell never you? thought about it. What before. they tell you is that what they said? They said, "Well, it's too late to put it in now." I thought it, she said, "Hang up the phone and tell your mother not to let you use it again." But it's a consideration for next year. Then I asked her if her refrigerator was running. And said, go <laughs> chase it. You better go chase it. And did you say, are you Lipschitz? <laughs> <laughs> no. So, uh, you know, best, uh, let me just say, best winery. Best what? Best winery, St. Clair. Well. It beat out Luna Rosa. Beat out Luna Rosa. That's about it. 
So, it doesn't matter. Uh, St. Clair has uh, many more wines than Lunarosa. They have an entire thing. Best sports bar of the game. That's a good one. How many sports bars are there? A lot of people, if they have a TV set what? that shows uh, sports. Uh, is it Farley's? Or are they Farley's? sports bars? Kind of. I don't, I don't know. know. It is best seafood, Delicious Del Mar, which is a pretty good uh, choice. They have great uh, fish soup. Really good stuff. Also, you can get it. It's now like La Casa del Pupo. The house, Pulpo. Pulpo, the house of the octopus. octopus. If you want to eat an entire octopus, go there. You can, yes. Really? You yes. Know, you won't be a sucker for doing yeah. it? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, boy. Are we ready to, to cut? Because uh, I, I think you can cut on that. Let's take a break. We pulp. can talk about this all day. That's Pulp Fiction. Yes. Yeah, we'll take a break pulp. now, and we'll be right back. Maybe we'll talk some more about this. And then we'll we hit back. some other companies that we're going to plug that we actually like. Oh, we look. like a lot of these places. Oh, look. Best DJ radio host. Who's that? Fat Tony. You can have best DJ radio This is an important announcement for anyone prescribed the blood thinner medication Xarelto. If you or a loved one has been hospitalized or died from serious internal bleeding, including bleeding of the brain or gastrointestinal system after taking Xarelto, you may be entitled to substantial compensation. Don't delay. Call the Sentinel Group right now. The blood thinner medication Xarelto has been linked to an increased risk of severe internal bleeding, hemorrhaging, stroke, heart attack, and even death. If you or a loved one experienced severe internal bleeding, or if a loved one died as a result of taking the blood thinner medication Xarelto, call the Sentinel Group now. Our network of experienced attorneys are ready to help fight for you. You won't pay a thing until your case is settled. Call the Sentinel Group now for a free case evaluation. Don't wait. If you or a loved one has been hospitalized or died after taking Xarelto, you may be entitled to substantial compensation. Call the Sentinel Group right now. Listen up, America! The price of life insurance has gone down 60% over the last 15 years. Many Americans know they need it, and some that have life insurance know they don't have enough. How would your family get by without you? How are you planning for the uncertainties of life? Find out how easy it is to protect the ones you love. The quote is free and there are no obligations. Listen up, America. Call now. Celebrate, celebrate, Fiesta Motors. Come and see us today and discover why our service is second to none. In business for over 17 years, we have the right car for you. When you buy a vehicle from Fiesta Motors, we do everything possible to ensure your satisfaction. Located at the corner of El Paseo and Main, see you there. Celebrate Fiesta Motors, we're buying a car, it's always a celebration. An important message for Americans in need of health insurance. If there's been a recent change in your life, you are eligible for immediate protection under the Affordable Care Act. If you're uninsured because you missed the enrollment deadline, we can help. To get the protection you need, you can visit the health care exchange and spend hours exploring your options. Or you can make a single call to Health Markets and let us do the legwork for you at no cost or obligation. Health Markets Insurance Agency searches thousands of health insurance plans on the exchange and off from more than 120 leading companies like United Healthcare, Humana, and more. We'll find you the right insurance coverage and guarantee the lowest price for plans we offer. And if you qualify for a government subsidy, we'll make sure you get the tax credits you deserve. Talk to us on the phone or meet with a local licensed representative. Why pay more than you have to or risk going without the coverage you need? Put our free service to work for you. Call the number on your screen now. Operators are standing by. Get the coverage you need. Call now. And we're back. You are watching Double Talk right here. I'm Mark Steffen. And I'm Michael Mandel. And tomorrow is the last day you can get on Obamacare for an entire year. Well, until next year. year. Right. So wh that? whatever that ad was, I don't know why that you know, is. They, they, you they should just be able to get on it on whenever you want to get yes, on it. Yes, it should be on yours, but it isn't. So uh, the 15th of February is the last day you can get it without penalty. Why so, that so you can go, uh, uh, I guess it's like, what, uh, two months before your taxes are due, April 15th. Uh -huh. Must have something to do with that. So that, uh, anyway, so if you well, miss yeah, the deadline, right? call whatever that uh, 
that healthcare place was. Yeah, call the numbers that you saw. What, uh, on your screen, which we don't remember, because we're not here to memorize things. We just make stuff up. We can make up the number. Okay, it's now, probably 1-800. No, oh, we're still talking about stuff. I'm back to this. You know, not only do they not have best talk show hosts or best television show, local show, they don't have best taxidermist. You know what? They don't have best Jewish bakery either. Why is that? Well, they, have they the, do have best, they have best deli, deli, which is the corner deli, oddly enough, and thank goodness. That's not, that's a sandwich shop. It's not really a deli, is yeah, it? No, the, Jason's is a deli. McAllister's is kind of a deli. Jason's, I think, maybe we should have a, a competition to see who most accurately fits the description of the classification. It's but a deli where you can go in and, and buy uh, uh, half a pound of uh, sliced turkey. turkey. Yeah. Now, like in that case, it would be cans. Toucan would be, do that. But they don't serve sandwiches there. Uh, that's true, too. Or, you know, but they do have potato salad. You know, Specs has a real deli. Yes, they do. And you can buy sandwiches and get take home. That's but, in El Paso. Uh, yes. How come nobody says, when are we getting a Specs? They just keep saying, when are we getting uh, Trader Joe's? Because we got Trader, because we got Kelly Liquors, and that's, uh, I guess, all of our And Kelly Liquors won Best, best liquor, liquor Store. store. <laughs> which, I guess, is almost appropriate. I they have guess the most, they know more stuff. It's a selection. You know, Celebrate. Think about Celebrate. They have the biggest wine selection, probably. Mm. Have you been to the they Celebrate were. over there where Bruja used to be, you know, in that liquor store? Same. Where, where is that? It's on South uh, Valley Drive across from. Is that still open? Yes. Oh, that's for everybody who goes to the hotel. They have a great wine selection they? in there. They do. I was in there the other day. Yeah. Well, the one on University does fairly well with wines. Yes, they do. And they, have, they sell mostly beer, though. But you think if you wanted beer, go to Albertsons. You don't want to be seen buying beer in, in a grocery store because all your friends will say, oh, your son, I just saw him buying beer at Albertsons. Is that yeah. all he does all day? No, he goes, no he sometimes he, he goes drinks and drinks it. the beer. Yeah. You knew that. The best talk show host. Let's hear the drum roll. Best talk show host in all churches is... Uh, Dolores? Oh, us. Double talk. Best talk show. Hosts. Mark and Michael. Me. Mark. Yeah. You know, speaking of beer, who um, speak of beer? I stopped by the Spotted Dog uh, Brewery, a new place, just the other day over in Mesilla. I've never been there before. Uh, I always forget to go there because they don't advertise. And <laughs> you don't forget that. That's why you remember to go. You I couldn't remember about the name of it until I got there. Oh, oh, it's that the new brew pub. I can't think of the name. Brew pub. Brew pub. Brew pub. Uh, actually, I haven't been. But you said is you like the beer? Yeah, it's decent. It's decent. No food, but they have uh, food trucks have on food truck weekends. On, on the weekend, yeah. And, and here, uh, oh, look, we're the best. it's kind of like a, a high desert was when they first opened. You know, you can take food in there. You know, if the food truck's not there, and they do have free peanuts, and then you can throw the shells on the floor, and they have popcorn. Peanuts, 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 and popcorn. Yes, they have, you can throw the popcorn on the floor after you eat it. Yeah, you can do that yeah, too. To, throw it up on the floor. It sounds like Farley's, except home brewed stuff. So, if you're interested in uh, uh, beers new place and uh, new places, beer. give that a shot. There's also the one uh, next to Starbucks on University. That opened up. That's yes. like, uh, what is that, Membra? It used to be Membra. used to be the Membra. So I thought it was, the sign was from the old place. But we no, don't know what the place. deal is there. But they don't advertise either, so who knows? Nobody knows what's going on. So part of uh, this uh, show is to uh, empathize with you. Not tell you anything new, but empathize with you. Yes. Now, we'll find out One thing we can week. empathize with and even sympathize with is? are the employees of uh, Radio Shack who are losing their jobs here well, on the one, the one in the mall. The one in the mall is closing. We don't know about the other ones yet. Uh, Radio Shack uh, did see what uh, Chapter Seven uh, They're going bankrupt. Bankrupt reorganization, I <laughs> which, guess. Which is no surprise because who knows anybody who ever buys anything at Radio Shack. First of all, if you want telephones, you go right directly to the place that sells uh, telephones, or you go to Best Buy. Best Buy just uh, wiped Radio Shack out. Maybe you want a good burner phone, you go to Radio Shack. What's but good? Radio Shack can still go and get money from <clears throat> their most loyal fans. Ham radio operators. Oh, for the Radio Shack. You know, actually, the Radio Shack used to annoy me because I go in there and I buy some batteries and they'd want to know my name, my address, my phone number, and I say, yeah, I just want some batteries. This is as far as our relationship goes. I didn't want to get on their mailing list. What, what's ironic is Radio Shack uh, actually exploded and became viable and good for the company that used to own them. Do you know what company? Tandy Corporation. Tandy Leather Corporation. 
Funny, leather went out of business. It's like if you had stock in buggy whips, you were <laughs> lost unless you know, they, soap. they started to make Frisbees or something. But Tandy Radio Shack, turn, uh, Tandy turned into Radio Shack, and Radio Shack is turning into some ephemeral nothing uh -huh. because of the computer age. But you know, there is a new store that opened here in town. What is that? It's called Bomb Shelter Boutique. We need a bomb shelter. Wait, that's the chocolate stuff. What is that for? Well, that, because... Uh, because it's uh, hungry. Valentine's Day. Uh, yeah, Bomb Shelter Boutique uh, opened there in, in Arroyo Plaza. Uh, they, she has kitschy clothing, mostly for women, but some men stuff too. Itchy clothing? Uh, kitschy, Did you say itchy? Oh, kitschy, it as well as a few things for men. And, of course, uh, accessories as well. And Bomb Shelter is spelled with, well, the word shelter is spelled with two L's. So it's not just a bomb shelter. But apparently she has, like, uh, partying clothes. If you, so you can be a bombshell when you leave. Now, also, Fra Francis Aviation has opened out at the airport. They're a fixed-based operator now. And so if you want to go buy a plane, go look. They'll be providing charter service with their jet uh, seats, I think, 15. Oh, which gives us, new, at least we finally have air service to Again. Las Cruces Airport, which is the thing that gives us air service. Okay, let's keep moving. Uh, what else we got? Well, you know, let, let's skip uh, the uh, lobbyist disclosure because we can talk about that. Yeah, we'll talk about that. We'll see what happens. Josh... No, Impossible we want to do a marriage. possible marriage. Is it's final weekend at the Black Box Theater for that play. Tonight and tomorrow matinee, at which uh, matinee Mark and I will be we there. We'll be there. If you see us, come up and say hello. Now, also, uh, at the Rio Grande Theater coming up, uh, when is it? Uh, Josh, Josh Ryder. Ryder is tonight. Tonight. Rio Grande Theater, 7.30. Yeah. Yeah. He's, He's a local Las boy. I think he well. went to school with my daughter. He's a few years older or younger, one or the other. And coming up, she never grew a beard. Coming up February 20th at the Rio Grande Theater, we'll, we will have Janice Ian. Janice Ian, big name. For those of you who are our age will remember her. We Get saw her last year, and, yeah. and that show was sold out, and it was a really good show. So those of you who like uh, that's the not folks her there. Scene, no, Janice Ian is an older woman. Fine picture of older woman. There she there is. She is. That is not uh, uh, somebody on the Supreme Court. And she's actually a <laughs> folk singer. She tells great stories. Uh, her music, she's got a beautiful voice. She's she great. Does. She's a great songwriter as yes. well. Now, hey, what day is it? Well, it's Mardi Gras approaching. Mardi Gras is Tuesday. This Tuesday, uh, Fat Tuesday begins Mardi Gras. And uh, things are going who's having on. something? Uh, well, the Post is having a, a Oh, wish. they're doing a, a, a tequila day. thing because we know how big tequila is for Fat Tuesday. <laughs> Fat Tuesday is usually made up of hurricanes, which is made out of rum mostly. But I'll tell you what, you have my permission to drink anything you want. But because Mardi Gras is coming it. up. And that, that means Lent is coming. And uh, that means people have to go pawn things, right? Because things that out? are lent, yes. You get them back. Anyway, uh, I think uh, maybe next week we'll tell you how we fared on Fat Tuesday. Hopefully, yes, hopefully we had a, a great diet. Fat Tuesday. That's about all the time we have this week. And next week we'll have more time. See you and see you. Oh. See you when next week. Do you want to be here next week? How come we don't do it a week and a half? Why do people always do things week after week? I guess you, you yeah, every want, week and a half. You want to count on things. You know? I think. Well, how about a fortnight? We'll see you in a fortnight. Okay. No, no, we'll see you right oh, here okay, next week. Okay, next week. Next Saturday at eleven.